Okay, so we're here at the tank. I want to show you something here. This is an indicator of how done <clears throat> how done your your flax is in the tank. So, so what we have is we have a bundle here. If I pull on it, you can see all these stringy stringy fibers. And that's what we are looking for. All the stringy stuff. So you should be able to see all that pretty pretty easily here in the video. And it's it's all throughout, so I'm seeing all that stringy fiber in all here, and that's 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 what we're looking for when the when the redding is kind of done and wet. So when I had this tank full and left last night, when I came out this morning, you could still see down through the water. So I knew that all of the bacterial redding action was pretty much complete at that point. Uh, no more foaming, no more any of that stuff. But we also need to keep checking because we don't want it to ret too far. By retting too far, the fibers will just fall apart. Might be good for making paper with at that point. So if you over ret, um, you might, uh, might consider using it for paper <laughs> so anyway let's let's get this out I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out in the field out there in the Sun where all those white flowers are those white flowers are bindweed which is really nasty stuff in a flax patch but for drying it's not gonna be a problem so we're gonna go do that we're gonna lay them out thin and then I'll do a quick video after we have everything out in the field ready to dry. And uh, it shouldn't take more than two days and it should be all done. We'll come back and visit. Okay. Got it all laid out. Go take a closer look. So sorry about the chainsaw in the background. Our neighbors are cutting down their almond orchard. And uh, so 
everything I had from the harvest is here. It's not as much as it looks because once we're done, we're going to have about uh, two thirds of that is going to be toe fiber and, and gone. So we really aren't going to have a whole lot, but this year was an experiment. And what I'd like to show the bottom of the tank. We had everything kind of get this a little brighter here. Um, get a much lighter straw color, sort of, but it's got a, some of it's got a little green tint to it. So all that that's lighter color is all going to turn dark like this stuff up here. And this this stuff was at the very bottom of the tank. what I have goes all the way up there and uh, we'll still get a fair amount of fiber enough to make a, a, a bit of fabric um, but my goal is again to see how fine a fiber we what kind of fine fiber we get from this particular batch and then the next goal will be to grow it as tall as possible and as thin as this has been grown so these stalks are really thin. I just want to grow them really tall. And um, so I'm not sure if the two are mutually agreeable to do or not. <laughs> 